is the third opening yes. episode to a season for the Chibnall, so it's will be better I, than certain I, ones. <laughs> I can I can hopefully say it's actually. What would you rate Spy Four out of ten? Overall or individual parts? I'm assuming overall. Overall. Uh, it's like a oh god, it's like a two. Yeah, we're oh, gonna give oh, it no. above a three. Yeah. No, I, uh, when I first watched it, I gave I think both episodes like around fives. Now it's like a fucking one or two, probably a two. Okay, interesting. It's, it's really bad. It's really bad. <laughs> I I can say at least Spyfall structurally structurally is miles better. Part one I think is structurally better. Well, I don't um, imagine part one because part two is all over the place. Yeah, oh, this is worse. Terrible, but I, if that's this, worse than part two, <laughs> um, this is worse than Spyfall part two. Then holy shit! <laughs> it's the worst episode of Doctor Who in structure that I can remember. Oh, easily. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. This is gonna be so much fun. I cannot. Oh, I'm so mm. high. These next six six weeks are gonna be fun. But do you want to try us? Cause what? Our rating predictions for the episode, job? Yeah, for when we're recording. I am already recording. Hello guys, we're recording. Oh, I'm not even dressed. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> right. Yeah, I've been recording right. you for like two minutes, yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, what are your readers' predictions? Should we go left to right then? Yeah. Yes. You go for a set of try. Uh okay, so can s- I don't think this is gonna be worse than Spyfall overall. So it'd be hard to be worse. Um I'm probably going to say it's going to either be a three or four. I think I'll say three. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, do you have to give it a two, I think, and considering usually I give a one number higher. Uh, like, dip- just whatever the fuck we watch, I usually just give one number higher than he does for everything. So do you think it's going to be better three. than Woman Who Fell to Earth or Spyfall? Or do you think uh, it's going to be, gonna be better than uh, Spyfall? But I think Woman Who Felt Worth is going to be. I think Woman Who Felt Worth actually has some strong moments. Yeah, it has a very, very little. Like, yo, there's like stuff to appreciate. But the actual scene, I would actually say, it's just like, it's good, is when Ryan goes back on the hill to ride his bike. That's the only scene I think I'm like, that's really good characterization. Yeah, it's great. At the end of the episode, yeah. Uh, 10. What'd you think? Uh, Ah, well, uh, uh, well, considering I doubt it'll be one of the worst Chibnall stories, it'll probably, it'll probably be somewhere like, maybe in like the, n- not as bad, but still not, but still not terrible sort of territory, so, I'd probably in for like a free, like, maybe. But not here's like, the thing though, all Chibnall episodes are fucking terrible. <laughs> They're yeah, all bad. It, it, it's in the spectrum of badness, it's, it's in like this. There's yeah, bad, there's, there's bad. Yeah, there's, there's bad. Orphan 55 and Timeless Children, and there's, like, like Vila Diodati. Like, there's a spectrum. Well, I mean, episodes yeah. written by Chibnall, so I'm talking about the 42s, the right. Hungry Earths, uh, Power yeah. 3. If, uh, Power 3 is his best episode yeah, he's, he's written, I would say, better. but yeah. that's still shit. So... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting a 3. Alright, All right, so, what, where do you think it'd be in season openers for Chibnall? Uh, do you want to ask Zod first as prediction for his reign? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Yeah, you first. Sure. Yeah. yeah, I'm here, by the way. Um, yeah. yeah. I see you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Probably like fucking a three or a four or something. Seems about right for Jim at this point. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> because I have. Uh, I have it at a two, and I think I'm being quite nice having it at a two. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. And oh, think... We're in for a treat, boys. We're in for a treat. <laughs> and I think it is worse than Spyfall. I really Oh do. my god! <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Most people who your, probably uh, are watching this. Rage in two years, yeah. Callum. It's oh, yay. <laughs> oh, my God. No. Why have you done this to me? Like, it's weird to explain. This episode has certain moments where I'm like, there could be potential, and then it gets killed quickly. Like, Look, just like any uh, Chibnall story, then. <laughs> yeah. 
Dan, Dan, Dan's the and best he, he, Here's the thing, though. Most people will be probably watching this who will probably be Chibnall-era defenders. When, when we say, is it going to be worse than Spyfall, they're probably going to be like, what do you mean? Spyfall's really good. <laughs> yes, it's, it's not. not. <laughs> it's really not, lads. It's really this not. Is, this is be good for, the for old reviewer would do it. It's fucking amazing. How can you say it? Do I? Oh, Guys, right. he's a champion sprinter. <laughs> the, uh, the, the, only, the only positives I have for this episode are Dan had something. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know, that's was, like, nice. Music was pretty good. Uh, not Murray Gold level, but it's some of the highlights. And the mm. uh, visuals in certain scenes are the best the show has been. Okay. Quite from the trailer, I remember is a lot of the CGI looking very out of place. The green, the green place seems. Oh, yeah. by Tin. Yeah, Tin died okay. again. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah, the the that... place where they're in the green that looks fucking abysmal. Yeah. Yeah, that's awful. <laughs> I can't Tim, wait to see that. Uh, you, you die. What happened? It's 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 nothing. It was just for a sec. Yeah, I just because I want to know if it's gonna happen again during the we watch. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> okay. And and and, and, and I have fix. It should be fine. Okay, good. So everyone ready then? Oh, just oh, this is I'm issue. so ready. Wait, you found oh, out another no. issue. Oh, we haven't even started yet. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That's That's guys, we the... haven't even pressed play yet, and he's already <laughs> thinking of more issues. <laughs> There's a bad line by Dan and uh, Genesis of Adjazani, Connor. Point out on no. <laughs> oh, go on. Okay. I can't <laughs> wait. I can't wait, you guys. It's here. We've, we'd waited so long. It's finally here. Come on. Here <laughs> we go. <laughs> All right. Everyone at zero. Right. Yeah. Yes. 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 All zero. right. Three, two, one. Listen to me, Carbonista. If you think you have won this little skirmish, ah, you have got the yeah, this color grading is something. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh my God! The oh, Jerry was right. Jerry was right. This is totally where they just died. Oh my God! Yep. To be fair, this is the worst CGI I guess. This color grading is fucking garbage. Jesus. By the way, this this entire scene is completely broken. I don't doubt it. Why don't you kill them now? Exactly. If, if, if he's if he's gonna drop them anyway, why don't you, you just kill them? Haha! <laughs> they just killed them. What? Just kill them. Yeah, just shoot them. There's the a countdown list. for killing them, but if he, he can't, he'll just kill them. There's the kill death, so you could just shoot them. Oh yeah, this is totally natural dialogue. Why would you oh, so false oh, so team's incompetent. Oh, great. <laughs> that was a joke. Okay. I also hate how the trailer spoiled the joke they were trying to go for here. Of like, yeah. them being said, oh, you're totally right. in control. And then it's like, oh, it's oh. actually no. By the way, this confirms that because she mentioned the cuffs, they had to be put on, which means this was all set up rather than just killed. This is all away. set up. Oh, no. <laughs> I love not being ready. Um, no, you, uh, that's no. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and they're missing her. How are they missing her? You joke. They're not even moving. Oh my god, this is so oh, bad already. Oh my god! What is this going looks on? so bad, why? I will say this is the worst the episode gets, I think. Also, how can you hear each other right now? What? Yeah. They're voice acting. What? <laughs> why the fuck would you have voice acting? Why not just. What's wrong with key? She's just. She's got it. What? What's happening? What's going on? Uh, this is one of the worst scenes in Doctor. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, this? those robots fucking suck. It's better. Why? Why is it breaking? It's a bush of house. Yes, it is inconvenient. What the fuck what? is happening? What? Wow. How did they do this? <laughs> so Chibnall rewatched the first like car scene in Spyfall and thought, let's do oh, it in look. space. That's the TARDIS. Oh, the double TARDIS is just right there. Oh, that, that's convenient. I don't know why the TARDIS is there, why they put it there. It seems like they planned this, but that doesn't make sense. Oh, oh it just opened. Oh my god. What a relief. Okay. 
Yeah, that's a sad to see. What the fuck did we just watch? What a relief, she says, into the fucking handcuff. Why would the hand? Oh, what the God. fuck? Wait, wait, hold on. So they actually they set up the fact that they were going to get captured. In theory, yeah, but then that doesn't make sense because she screwed up by accident, and for some reason they're not already killed and not killed by the kill desks. I just none of it makes what? sense. Awesome. <laughs> but what the fuck is that? I'd that say was it's Doctor Who flux. <laughs> Yay! Yo. Hey yo. Oh, I'll say I like this uh, title. Uh, it's the only good thing about the era, consistently. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to spoil this scene for you. We don't revisit this ever again in this episode. Oh, no. oh great! Oh, <laughs> this has, <laughs> this has no relevance to the narrative at all. Ah, oh, that's nice. That but this is about um, a history figure who wanted to keep digging tunnels for some reason. And no one really understood at the time. Oh, they're tying. They're doing a crossover with Lost. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is the thing that we're referencing, like me, Jay, etc., about how they just put unnecessary setups that are not part of the um, narrative for this episode. The designs are eccentric, the work is random. And as for the tunnels being excavated, Hmm. Work is random. Oh, chibble, chibble, chibble in a shell. My mind is clearly the more robust and rational. <laughs> what the fuck is this style? What? <laughs> <laughs> what do you imagine to lie ahead of us? The cataclysmic. The impossible. What? <laughs> the guy says. Set, set up. We have no meaning to the actual narrative. Hey, oh, Dan. and that's it. That's Dan. Okay, well, that yeah. Whoa! He's a Liverpool fan. Oh. Uh, he's already a 10 out of 10 character. Oh, Marcus, shut the fuck up. I mean, it is true. He's a Liverpool fan. Oh, for God's sake, shut He's a better up. person than Callum is. To be fair, he's so far the best new who... No. Graham, by this point, was better. Oh, that looked not great. <laughs> yeah, they did the... Legion transition that didn't work well, but alright. Oh god, this acting is... Oh. <laughs> it's quite oh. flat. Yeah, oh, this is crazy. really flat. That's really bad acting, yeah, but, you know, yeah. at least... You need a good direction to make John Bishop... I don't in. believe anything he's saying! SJW, she's disabled, SJW. <laughs> oh no. Uh, she has to got an arm. Just a fresh wound. <laughs> <laughs> You're really not though, because I did not believe you for a single yeah. second. That is a bad line. That's a, that opens you up to abuse saying that. <laughs> so you only exist to make others happy. It should be if they need it, like Connor said. It does show something about his character that he always wants to help others, so it makes sense why he becomes that's, a companion. Yeah, that's something. We got something. Hey like guys, you did you notice one. that they like each other, but they don't secretly know that they like each other? Uh, yes, but that's already more than Yaz ever got, so yeah. I mean, yeah, true. There was, that was that was more like... Subtle, well, I wouldn't say subtle, but it was something. You can tell where the story's gonna go. Oh no, she's flexing. Ooh, that was a good ah, flex. Yeah, that was alright. <laughs> so you remember, what the fuck is that grunty? Uh, you remember, <laughs> what the hell? You remember the Fire the Doctor thing? That's yeah. the monster that was in the clip, if you right. remember. Right, yeah. The swarm water. Oh. Oh. Yes. I found him. That was a whole lot of was, How long has it been here? She should already oh. know that, but you know. Yeah, this exposition is something. Oh, so bad! <laughs> Imagine arriving on a planet, for like, specifically for a mission, and then asking, Hey, what am I doing here? Yeah. Exactly. You should at least have some vague awareness. Also, well, why does she only have a gun? I don't know. I think, um, I think the other one has a now. pistol on a... Her why wouldn't, they, wouldn't you not just at least have like a holster for the big gun on your back or something? Oh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, she does have a pistol. She has a... <laughs> okay. Also, hey, I guess it's just preference, I don't know. Why is the other one only told the structures after they've landed, not before? I don't know. You think if he's in prison since the dawn of time, they'd have a better system of checking if he's secure or not, but okay. Yes. Dialogue. 
You're child. As you she looks like 35. Been. What? Yo, as confined as you've <laughs> always been. Wrong. I don't know why it malfunctions. I guess we'll find that out. But yeah, I think we find out at some point why the containment thing malfunctioned. Otherwise, I don't know. It just did. Set up. No, but the division. The division? Oh my. Oh god. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that seems. Why did very you. Powerful. Why did you fall over? Well, that's a tentacle blade then. Oh. I am 100% certain that's gonna be a tentacle blade. Why don't she already try shooting him? That's a new issue I just realized. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> shoot, shoot, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. What have you done? Why are you just sitting there? She's just sitting there. She's just chilling, like yo. Will you shoot? Wait, head. Where's where's her gun? Wait, her gun disappeared. Wait, now it reappeared. Oh, it's malfunctioning. Why? I assume he could stop guns. To be honest, which is fair. That's fine. That's fine. This is brand new, so if they can stop guns, he can stop guns. Trick or treat, doctor. They know about trick or treats. Oh my god! I don't know how they know, but That's there we go. It trapped at the, the dawn of the universe. What the? Oh, oh. oh god! Oh, I pissed himself. <laughs> I hate how she points the screwdriver. I'm just gonna say I really don't like it. Me too. So she just kind of stretches her all arm. It's like a really weird pose. <laughs> It's like just put her all, her all It's not like how draft. Matt Smith does it. Like, because like he does it like. Does it. I really like how he does it, but the way she does it just feels oh like. God, she said trick or treat. Oh my god! Oh, oh. oh my god! Uh, this is a very nice trait about Dan as well. He helps at the food bank. Yay! Yeah, he's a nice person. Yeah, he's definitely the best character this episode. He's just a nice guy. He's just a nice guy. To be fair, it does get a bit better with Dan. That's like one scene. Well, at least. Take some soup. Hmm? Wilma, who likes soup, really? Don't be proud. I love soup! <laughs> I don't like Dan anymore. But, but if, you, if you notice, he's, <laughs> he's doing it so others can have yeah, it. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, that's exactly. nice. Like, yeah, it, it was actually, good characterization. Yeah, it was like subtle. I like it. Oh, okay. Oh no, they're back! That was one of the disc things. It was the disc from the beginning of the episode. Yeah. That's what it looked like, at least. The ones that can't fucking hear him. Yeah, so I think not it really. Was, really not really any threat right now. Hey, Liverpool. Well, he lives right next to Anfield. Yeah. Oh. Yep. He's a huge Liverpool supporter, which makes yeah. sense because he's proud of his city. I think this is the best individual scene. Oh, no, not this. Uh, not no, this, this scene. scene. Not this scene. Really. I've seen this. The scene with, like, what they could have done more characterization. Where is it, sweet? Go on, get off with you. You know, if this must be funny, <laughs> who, who, who says I heard you had sweets? Like what? It's, it's, it's Halloween. Yeah, yes, it's Halloween. Halloween. Of course he has. Yeah. Why would you go to the specific? House? Also, you were like, you knocked <laughs> right off the door, scene. so you would have seen. It's subtle. It tells you that. Oh, down. the empty fridge. Well. Oh god, his apartment's like really empty. It's very subtle. It's not telling you Dan is poor. The fuck? And then he gets oh, oh my god. <laughs> That editing was nice. terrible. It, oh my Gaze god. Gaze upon my might! What? Damn. No. This guy has an alien weapon oh my and god, he's like, this? oh you're. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that thing defeated okay. a thousand civilizations. I'm sorry, but like. Exactly. No, just <laughs> even if this was like a Halloweener, he just smashed your door in. You're calling the police or something. Yeah. It's not cute. <laughs> yeah, this is a. They're meant to be frightening. They like four bears. What? What? What the fuck? What? What the fuck is that weapon? What did you, what just happened? Why? Wait, why did you? Why would she land in the middle of the street? Oh yeah, this is this is scratch Marcus. Anfield. What? Classic. Oh yes. Like. We're taking a game. I've seen the Barcelona match nine times. Yeah, I'm sure you have. Yeah, I'm sure. I was. I was liking that until she said she was a ball boy for Trent. That the that, that, uh, that, that, I hated that. Someone tried defending it with, well, 30th could be into football. I'm like, that's never been established. 
Never that she didn't even first. understand social stuff altogether. Oh, yeah. That's the, the thing. <laughs> the 11th Doctor, he didn't even know how football worked properly. I don't think... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's like, this, it's yeah. like, this is well for sticks, right? Yeah, it's just... Because uh, because the 5th Doctor played cricket, so that's the only sport he's really played. What? That doesn't make any sense. That isn't the format. The format of the... Yeah, it's not. Like it should be... Why would he do that? Oh. Longer in width. Yeah, that was like a rectangle. Ah, uh, then with loads of photos with Liverpool sh jerseys. That's just. He's a Marcus, get your bias out of here. I'm no. Dan is just a great character. Just best new <laughs> companion. Oh, oh fucking football people! I swear to Christ, if you will. So, Wait, what how did, did you do, do that, Dan? Whoa, seven minutes. Hang on, while Shield against detection match to detect the ship. Oh, but how the fuck should yeah. you do that with just like a laptop? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. That's a good transition. What? Oh, there's a lot of shit. Okay. Seven, seven billion. billion. Why could you tell? Why? Talk about overkill. Jesus. Fuck. Unless it says like seven billion in big bold letters. <laughs> yeah, it's on the top left of the screen, just out of focus. Don't worry. Why does Dan have such a flashy computer? What? Because it's not his. It's meant to be a trap, but this this doesn't Wait, make sense. Wait for who? Get that out. Wait for, for who? It's a flashy computer. They know. People what? could have a laptop. That because what? they've assumed it's a flashy computer, even though it's not a flashy computer, and they can't know he can't afford one. Yeah, that's just a they normal laptop. His... Even it's a no. It's just a laptop. Wait, why They're did that? Just... Why did that small I part just... of the, the 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 building next door also get transported? Just for and the it's joke. It's not even that. Why, why is that trap set when he was 100% certain they'll die anyway? I don't know. This pacing and structure is so weird. It gets worse. Why did we cut here? What's... What the fuck's happening? This is a scene this... you established at the, like, near the beginning of the episode. You do all this at the start. Not like... We're now in the midst of the plot. Yeah. Personally, my beginning would have been the swarm escaping. And be like, I'm coming for you. Doctor yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah, I'd say that. Make that I, would, I, would, I would also just cut that whole beginning as well. Yeah. Just that would make the episode just like a hundred times better. <laughs> this CGI is oh, yeah, great, don't... but alright. Oh yeah, you can tell that's fake. Okay. We didn't receive the warning. What? Wait, what? I guess that part... Uh, my theory is that part of the division. Okay. okay. Well, he but... looks confused. I am also well, confused. Well, that... They're aware that it's a... They're aware it's a warning. Right, they're trying okay. to avoid that. Is this episode just going to be set up with stuff for later down these next six episodes, but we're just going to keep cutting to them? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's shit. Just focus on this. I don't know how he still has a word out. This, this is alien or yeah. not. Yeah. yeah. Like, he's clearly been kidnapped. And aliens are known on Earth by this Yes, point. aliens are known. Hey guys, the RTD era wasn't retconned. Shut the fuck up. The fucking Daleks invaded Earth like not long ago. In this era. True, that yep. was the last episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so even if the morons will say season 5 retconned RTD era, like, it just doesn't matter. The literal last episode had Daleks assassinate. The Prime Minister. Yeah. I just want to foreshadow something. The Carvanista, and the, uh, it just doesn't make any sense. The Carvanista is probably the most broken thing about this episode. Oh, so they speak like perfect English as well. Like, how they speak is like very British. If he's meaningless, why did you capture him? Yeah. Okay, yeah. See, Dan's quite smart as well when in danger. Why don't you kill him? Yeah. So you're not gonna kill me. See, See this is wow. You've gone to all this, this is not bad. Me. Me wouldn't make sense. So he has to be important, otherwise, why would they kidnap him? Yeah. Well, the that's the idea. Nice he theory. is important in some. He's nice fairy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they've just set that up. It's very clear that they actually kidnapped him for a reason. Yeah. No, no, nice fairy. I still think he's an important character, but not for the reason you said. Like the mind control didn't work on him, for example. Oh shit! There's conflict. Oh yeah. Yaz, what? The yeah, there's fuck? actual conflict. Sorry, we're in the middle of something quite important. Now. Okay. Have we met? Not yet, but we will. I think uh. if it's true. Uh. Okay. Oh, it's like Blink. If what's true, I guess. Yeah, uh, uh, her scenes have no relevance to this story. Oh, fuck. Okay, so oh, yeah, it's more sad. Yeah, 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 y
Beware there's no, the flux. There's no logical Taking narrative the long way home. Home. Okay, so That's not even the... Uh, okay. So this yeah, setting up Weeping like... Angel shit. Oh, yeah. wait! Is she from... Is she getting, like, attacked by Weeping Angel from, like, the far, far future or something? I don't know. I generally don't know. That I could be, the idea could be interesting. she's in the future and the Weeping Angel sent to like the that. past and then they just end up meeting... That could be interesting, because we always what see, like, fuck? present day going to, like, the deep, deep past. Because the reason I don't think that's she's... never happened before. Why would you say that? That's wow, Chibno, right? Good dialogue, you fucking moron. Jesus Christ! I just hate how every character in this era is just like, oh, this thing has never happened before. Oh, this is a thing that is currently happening. I thought you get in Doctor. Mm. Oh yeah, she's a co-pilot for the Talus, which I'm fine because she could have been. Yeah, I'm I'm fine. I've been watching a lot of Fifth Doctor stories, and there's constant like. Scenes of uh, companions co piling the TARDIS. Yeah. As long as they've been yeah. taught and they establish that, that's fine. I know what that is! Oh, of course. Uh, hey, do you remember the 10th Doctor guys? Yeah. And even then, it was a, it was a fucking weak twat on, on, the, on the console. I know. Yeah. Uh, like, ten, runaway, like, like, runaway like, Bride like, is so far. Like, like, yeah. like, Nine would just fall and just <laughs> right on it. And she just Yo, like, conflict again. Oh, shit. What sort of glitch? A glitchy glitch. is actually having character here. I know. That that was a silly line. Okay. I like this actually. This is no. This is this is our character. Yeah, it is. What? Yeah, that's not the. What? You're hiding something. Yeah. About okay. him. That's not what she was <laughs> like <laughs> she was <laughs> saying. She's fucking deflecting. Only Chibno can oh make god. me like Yaz oh more my than god. the doctor, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, why is Yaz a better character? Yeah, already? why was I fucking siding with <laughs> Yaz? Jesus. It's like tenth when he was confronted by Martha and Martha just sat there. He knew he had to tell her. I lied to you. Lazarus experiment at the end when Martha actually confronts the doctor and he's like, all right, yeah, let's yeah. go together properly. This huh. scene has nothing to do with the main narrative. No, How in no, the no, fuck no, is no, it? No, no, no. Why is it in the middle of the streets? That's in... That goes completely against their motivations. What? Why is it in the middle of the street? She just blinked. Oh, so she knows. Yep. Marcus, Marcus, she does well, this another time. See if you could catch her. Marcus has seen one of them. See if you can spot the other time she Okay, blinks. so she knows then. She knows exactly. What? She's what it is. she's looking down. <laughs> okay. Wait, that was she really slow. Been, she should have been tough. Yeah, that you was really. Blink, but you don't have to look up. But you don't have to look up. Oh, I swear to Christ. I don't think you need to say anything. You can just like we know, we can infer. She blinked know. again. She blinked again. Dan Barry. Yeah. Oh. Yep. She does it again. She. She's she an idiot. This one. She's fucking moronic. Oh my god. And she, and she's like, this is clearly saying like she knows exactly what the fuck the angel is. Yeah. To be fair, why even go to the house and corner yourself when you have a large street? Yeah, true. Open the, the door. Don't the turn till you open the door. Oh my I god. <laughs> you... Oh, yeah, you should be dead. Yeah, no, the you should be dead. Yeah, the angel is Ow. super nerfed right now. You remember how fast it went when the guy just like turned away for like a split second? Yeah, because blink is mm. good, yeah. No, as soon as you- oh, okay. And then she blinks for some reason. Okay, why did she- I don't know why she- I don't know why she did Why didn't you close okay. the door? Oh, wow. Okay. I suppose from a creative standpoint, some characters deserve to die. Ones that lack common sense or even basic survival instinct. Your story's not scary because the characters are making choices the audience wouldn't make. Plus, you need a smarter lead. This, <laughs> this does play into the main narrative. Oh my god, more s Oh my god. This, this does play in the main narrative, kind of. Okay. But even then, like, how this has all been structured is so bad. Oh no, yeah, the pacing is garbage. Yeah, this isn't connected to anything with the Doctor, Dan, and that. But We're halfway through the episode now, and I feel like almost nothing real has happened. Other than Dan getting kidnapped and some characterization. But... Vinda's pretty nice, based on what we get. Riley Ritchie's a good actor. This is well shot. Yeah, because you can see the stars and the reflection of the mirror. Well, not mirror, the glass. Few others will ever see. I like this dialogue. I thank you. What monologue? In all other respects, I conclude this report with my usual sign of request that you all go to hell. <laughs> Alright, that was alright. That's actually, honestly, one of the best bits of achievement dialogue he's ever written. Yeah, for real. <laughs> but yeah, Riley Rich is actually a very good actor in the facial movement. It's the way his eyes move. Yeah, the best actor so far in the show. What in the fuck? 
That's the flux. Um, Wait, this is the flux? It's just a big space cloud. It's Galactus. That, that literally <laughs> destroys the universe particle by particle. What? Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, but then they're trying to say that the flux was like... It was bringing the angels of the Cybermen and the Sontarans? I imagine they're running away from the flux. I, oh, that's my oh guess. Marcus, I feel sorry for you. Oh. <laughs> wow. No. Because that would be, <laughs> that'd be the smart this, thing to do, at least. Out, you can sit there and oh, we're back here now. Yo, the we're swarm. Yo, quite, quite dapper. Right. Look at that suit. That's pretty, pretty, pretty nice suit. He, as the master did in the TV movie, he dressed for the occasion. Yeah. We've gone on three <laughs> details that have no connection to one another. No. They're just random it's... scenes. They really like, not wake up with a fucking this light. All... Okay. We're all oh, expecting this to mean okay, something nice. at the end. He won't be there. Oh, it'll all tie itself together by episode 6. It's gonna be great, Colin. That's actually the- What? That's his excuse people go. They go, oh, what? but you oh, still he just, oh, okay. oh. Touch something and he dematerialized. <laughs> Unless he's just doing that because... That's what I think the scan was. So he scans the room to make anything dematerialize. That's what I think happened. Thank you. What? Well, what? 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 Why did you even let her speak then? What the fuck's happening? What? Oh, she's a. Oh. Uh, oh okay. My sister. Okay, uh, thanks. I think she had thanks her, for the exposition. I think, but, uh, I think she had her memory wiped like the doctor did. Right, okay. Oh, sure. Which is why I think they're part of the division. Or oh, why? Uh, I would have probably changed that to like. Do you know who you are or something? Like, yeah. To like confirm she has her memory back. It's like, do you know who you are? And she's like, yes, brother. And then boom. Haha, <laughs> guys, it's funny. She still has the hopper virus particles from Orphan 55. Thanks for this reminding me of Orphan 55. Yeah. Oh. That was like widely panned. Why would you include a reference to that? But the thing is, like, she's been to prison and that, so she can't now have it then. That means she's put it back in her pocket for some reason. Well, her aren't her pockets like bigger on the inside? So it's just like they can't get everything out. I don't know. No, no, she got this from a charity shop. Yeah, they can't be big on the inside. This is just regular clothing, unless she's like done something to it, but they haven't. Well, the 10th Doctor like, says he, his uh, pockets are bigger on the inside. But, his, his but no, no, but those were from his TARDIS, though. If you remember from Christmas Invasion, he got oh, dressed in his true, TARDIS. Oh, yeah. These are just, you know, from a ch like random charity shop in Sheffield. Yes, universe, and you're gonna stand there while I tell you two things. Number one, I'll ask you two things. Thank you for telling him he's gonna stand there. What are you talking well, about? ask you one thing. To stay away from Earth, it is protected. It's protected. Number two. Oh, this is such a shit version of like any other scene with a doctor saying Earth is protected by me. Yeah. That was so. Oh, that dialogue was awful. It's just making me remember the Big Bang monologue. <laughs> yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, that is a good monologue. Well, the 10th Doctor. I'm glad she you know, could see it this just by looking. Someone tried defending it with, well, they've traveled the Doctor sometime, like, no companion could just look at something and go, no booby traps. Yeah. I'm Yaz. Yasmin Khan, formerly PC Yasmin Khan of Hallamshire Police, very human. You didn't need to say that bit. Yeah. That just feels, that just feels like a knockoff version. I feel like, I feel like that's going to be turned to a gift. Junior Leeds. <laughs> that moment with Yaz is going to turn into a gif like on the official Doctor Who tour and it's going to be yep. posted everywhere and it's going to be really annoying. How did you... Why would... <laughs> did she just free him? Okay. Exactly. Somehow she knows all this and someone's trying to She just knows how to operate a random ship. Why would you grab it so... Another... Oh. Just kick it. Use your feet. They're yeah. rubber. I mean, at least there's a bit of dialogue. This character's playing off each other, but that's pretty much it. And like, it makes sense because uh, she used to be a police officer and he's uh, very proud of the city. So you know. Oh wait, this guy knows about the division. No. Oh, not just that. Oh. So it's not just time lords. That are wait, part so of the that means it was really easy to find out about the division. Universal pattern. So ha wait, how did she not know about the division beforehand if it was less easy? Because I think because she was actively searching for it. But this she's two thousand years old. This twist doesn't make any sense. Because he's been violent too damn the entire time, and has been ominous and violent the entire time. How do you fucking? 
Every Lupard has a designated human. Okay. But like he puts him in nine booby traps that could kill Dan, but it's meant to save him. Yeah. Because we have to save him doesn't mean I have to like him. But you threatened to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> Like you what? weren't going, but you did. Why not say, hey, hey, hey? Why did you even have the booby? Oh, Why not just say, hey, no, 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 I'm not kidnapping you. I'm here. I'm actually trying to save you. Uh, and why um, why are they trying to kill Yaz? You could tell she's a human. That screws over one of your switches. And why is the flux bigger than, like, say, the Daleks destroying the entire multiverse? The, the flux is smaller than the Daleks destroying the multiverse. How did the Doctor not know about this? I don't know. You can't just say she's been busy, she would know. But that's what Kara wrote, she was like, where were they when, like, the Daleks were destroying the multiverse? And it sucks things in when it's close, okay. Yes. Like metal. It should have already caught up, to be honest. It should have left If it's already, like, yeah. it's getting closer, so surely the more stuff would get sucked in quicker. Yes. This, this plot is so garbage. This is really bad. Why, Why are you being shitty, Doctor? Yeah. They're, they're trying to save you. Why are you being an asshole? I'm keeping your weapon system, but they're trying to <laughs> help humans. Exposition. That's what species bond means. Thank you. I'm glad I understand it now, Doctor. Oh, I've got this dialogue, man. It's so bad. It's literally just ask the most basic question. How will this survive? Dog man. We were supposed to be sneaking in quietly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my yeah. god, fuck you! This is so bad! That was just so bad. Dan's an idiot. I like him, but he's an idiot. Doctor, work with him. He wants to do Why are you a running? Thing. He wants your help! What, what are you trying to. What's happening? He just said he was You're trying supposed to, to protect him. humanity, not destroy them. You have become the very thing oh, oh. How did they not hit at all? He's really bad. It's in theme How are they the not distance. hitting? I think the t so this is my theory on this. I think the TARDIS is collapsing in on itself. Ah, uh, but then there's, oh, there's two doors. Hmm. Yeah, so I think it's the dimensions collapsing in. I think I I would like it if they like the door like the main door was like gone and that's where the door was. I like I would like that better as a detail. But like he mentioned, his mate had a TARDIS but bigger, and it's like shut up. So I don't know if that's a joke or an actual. Yeah. I think it's just a joke. Is very, TARDIS is a very unique thing, which is the issue. Yeah. And who else does? Sada. I mean, those are good who questions. Who is it? The Sontarans! Yeah, that's 30 the Sontarans trillion there. light years away. Alright. Guys, the way, this, this totally is gonna mix so well into the next episode. This has no relevance to this episode. It could have been an episode Sontar. two. Sontar. 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 Guys, we need light for the next episode. Marcus, they don't say it in the scene, but they say it in the second episode. Like a oh my god! <laughs> there has to be a reason why they look different, right? That's... I don't think there'll be a reason. There needs to be, though, because it looks... It looks massively different from the last one. But yeah, this is why they're revolt, because it's the biggest conflict. <laughs> Bad acting, okay. <laughs> what the fuck is this? The fuck are the little... Ha 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 ha! <laughs> Who the hell hey, is yeah, I like to dry there. I could. No idea, but they do chat. Oh, his deliveries aren't very good. That makes me sad. Is the door on the other side? I just noticed. Oh, I think there are a few doors appearing. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, that's. Yeah. This is oh, good. Come, this is good. You're gonna, you're gonna come up to the worst doctor action you'll ever see. Wait, what? No, no, it hasn't even happened yet. <laughs> you're going to come up to it. And I don't know if you'll notice that. Okay. Another close to Bill. No, well, you'll, you'll make us notice. It's a warning. Ah, well. If it's worried. It's, I don't mean that's. Okay. I don't mean that's really what oh, the fuck was always been. This is oh. what the Lapari have seen. What they were trying Thank to you. We know. From. Yes, Thank we know. <laughs> that is. Hey, yeah. Get on with it. Yep. That is what it is. <gasps> what? <laughs> oh my God! What the fuck is that transition? I feel. Thing is, I hope this gets resolved by the editor of the era. Otherwise, RTD's kind of fucked. Yeah. Oh my god, the screen screen. Oh my god, this is so bad. Oh, that guy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he disappeared like the other guy, so it has to be because of the but swarm or whatever. I like called. this. I like that she could feel it all. Well, she should have felt it like ages yeah, ago. Yeah, she should have right? felt it. Yeah, she yeah. should have felt it. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
Uh, like, that's what I was thinking, like, oh, she would have felt it unless there's a reason why. And she's like, oh, I can feel it now, then there is no look. reason why she wasn't feeling Great. it before. I got some sick-ass cloves. <laughs> oh, that's, that looks so bad. So yeah, they fought before and the doctor just says I remember. And I think he oh, comes just from after the she universe. Yeah, the universe the doctor oh. comes from. Is it me or does it look like it's changing direction? Oh, we're gonna come to the worst doctor action. Here we go. Yes! Teleport away, come on. Yeah, know. She, she can still fly the yeah, ship I know without that. teleporting it. Yes, she's bringing it to Earth. Oh, oh, wait, not what? just that, not just that. She's destroying the solar system. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> She's destroying the planet's solar system. She just Earth. killed a planet. <laughs> She's killing multiple. She's fucking up. She's Earth killing billions of people. Smart. By the way, she didn't even have this plan, so she was just throwing it at her for some reason. Oh man. Oh. I'd understand she pre-prepared. Oh, Carvanisa can help here, but she didn't. So the doctor, oh. yeah, was was gonna accidentally destroy Earth and destroyed half the solar system as well. Thanks, Doctor. Okay, well, she's being forced, so... Isn't this a pace breaker? It is, I don't... I'm there. Yeah, yeah. right. Like, the end of the universe her. is kind of happening right now? Yeah, like, just showing her in the middle of the street I like, because it's like I'm late for meeting Diane. But, like, yeah, just why, why, she, why, why is she in the middle of the dark street anyway, rather than at a pub or somewhere? Yeah. I don't know. Like, it was pitch black for some reason. The what lights weren't even on, on the what street. What the fuck's happening? <laughs> <laughs> laughing evilly, thanks, subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> what a story, Mark! It's also why. Not I the think... other planets, not the other planets, though, they're dead. It's also why I think Dan's important because what they kidnapped Di. I think Dan's a secret doctor. Unironically. Yeah, she only came up with this plan now. She's almost at Earth. It could have done this maybe when they were at the edge of a solar system. So, you know, Neptune would have, would have imploded. Why did she, like, go back? in time to like the, the beginning of the universe maybe or like to the end of the universe where there's barely anything there and the flux is after them I don't know yeah I would have just gone to the end of the universe like why go to why, why go to earth and then come up this plan after the fact what is going on behind that battalion wall so if it's not encasing the entire planet it means it could just go over the wall I've just so realized that the TARDIS okay so the scene is gonna this season is gonna, this season's, it's gonna be let's run away from the flux Dude, this episode is fucking so poorly paced. <laughs> I know. It's all over the place. Why is, why is this just obsessed with what? Diana now? What? She's gonna use the heart of the TARDIS. What? Wait, what? What? No! Which I think, you know what? I think that makes sense to try this as the last resort. Sure. Sure, but the whole thing was like not to look oh at God. it in Boomtown. Just shut the yes. fuck up, Doctor. You can't say. Oh. Oh my god, look how emotional it was, guys. It's so emotional. All these yes. people just randomly cut back to this. <laughs> hey, we're back here now. Okay, just him again. I have no idea what's What? <laughs> this is so bad! Hey, yo. Yes, the Weeping Angel, we need to know about that. <laughs> Santarin! This is so bad. <laughs> guys, look at all the things we've set up. I always wondered what it would feel like. What? That, oh my god, what the fuck is that? That's it. That was <laughs> awful. That was <laughs> fucking <laughs> awful. Uh, Jesus. What the so, hell was that? That was insane, I think, dude. That, that is one of the worst things I've ever watched. I'm sorry, I fucking hated that. I'm gonna have I to watch before, it back to edit it. Ah. Before we um, get to like discuss the episode, ratings. That's what I want to hear, the ratings. Oh god, this is way worse than I thought it'd be. It's oh. a true oh, weapon. Oh. Oh, okay. That's exactly what I had too yeah. at best. You thought oh, I was being god. harsh. Might be one of my, my least favourite episodes of TV. I fucking Plus, hated that. Plus of Spyfall? Yes, I think Told this you. is worse than Spyfall. Told you it'd be. It has to be, yeah. Well, the thing is, because, I think character-wise, it's a lot better, but when you have... Oh, yeah, character-wise, it's better, but then you have the Doctor line that actually kind of fucks it all up, especially with the Doctor. Yeah, like, like character-wise, at least Dan has some character, and Yaz is, like, not terrible fully, but uh, the plot is fucking insane, it's, and the Doctor it's is insane. once again. Like, the structure and the pacing... This might be one of the worst paced Doctor Who episodes ever. Yeah. Do you want to know the, do you want to know 
to defense oh we haven't got all the parts i'm like i don't care i'm talking about this single i don't care but this episode itself we're talking about this episode it was poorly paced and poorly structured ever all this this quote-unquote setup was not natural to the episode at all it didn't involve the episode at all the fact that dan was kidnapped because of the, the guys at the very beginning of the fucking episode that had nothing to do with dan being kidnapped or anything to do with the dog people like set this up in future episodes where it's more natural and it's better structured like holy shit and this was just chaos and now you see why i made the stolen earth comparison where it has so many different threads but they all interlink to the main narrative yeah and it's got similar stakes where I mean, in case on earth fits multiverse but universe being destroyed it's wow. on still a bit of a mess but it's structurally a pacing is some of the best this oh my god i t- oh okay i'm probably gonna give this like a very low a very low two like it very low because at least it has some decent oh, i'd say decent it was it had some characterization for yaz and dan dan's actor is not great though so it's kind of like the acting was really bad as well yeah. like throughout yeah, that scene uh, when we first saw Dan was like, oh my god, that was like, that was like shockingly flat. Yeah. <laughs> For a, a person yeah. whose job is to literally like guide like people through a museum, like, and it, it be exciting. Holy bad, holy crap, it was bad. <laughs> yeah, it's a complete mess of an episode. One of the worst Doc 2 episodes I've ever seen. It's like we gotta set ev- literally everything up. We can like Chibnall, no, slow down. Just do this episode. Like, what, what, what would have been so hard to it just be about Dan being kidnapped and that like transitions into like the introduction of the flux. Like, would have would have that have been so bad? Literally, a perfect how to structure. Begin the episode. The cold open. You have swarm escaping. Um, just refine that. Then you cut to the doctor. Um, Chase, I guess, confronting the Carvanisa with the final hours of Earth, I don't know, I don't care. Um, <laughs> or, or at least chasing the Carvanisa. Then you have the whole Dan stuff. That bit's fine. Remove the Claire stuff, remove the Liverpool, remove the Sontaran scene. Um, and then you interplay between the Swarm making his steps and destroying the universe and the Doctor trying to save Dan and have him naturally coincide in pacing with when the Doctor realises what it is. That's how I'd do it. Yeah, sounds about right. I just Eris, yeah. you could have done this episode in so many better ways. It's like it's I don't know. I think you you should have just reworked this entire episode. I obviously I would yeah, you know, starting with like the flux is also not something I would do. Uh just like would, this universe I, ending event. Just yeah. I, I was surprised we had see got what the swarm in the flux was. I was expecting that to be a longer mystery. <laughs> Yeah. But, yeah, he literally meant he's blowing the universe up. Literally. (laughs) Uh, uh, F-13's still a terrible character. Yaz Hatchi has something now. Dan is a... Dan's, like, serviceable. Um, Yeah, Dan is the best so far, yeah. Yeah. He's the only character I consider to be actually just fine. Yeah, he's not... I think he's a bit stupid at times. But, like, character-wise, he's fine. Yeah, he's nothing on the level of um, Moff, um, RTD. Um, he's better than Clara right now. Fuck Clara. Uh, <laughs> not better than Maybe Amy. Maybe we all would. Tim. Yeah, that is like, true. Thank you. Next episode, the Son- Sontarans. Oh. Right. Also, it seems the Sontarans are in modern day and in the Crimean War. So, so I guess that's something. I don't know. We'll see how that plays out. It seems to have ties to the Liverpool 1820s thing. I hope, because they've referenced that again. I don't, what was the point of the Weeping Angel scene? I don't understand. It just set up Claire. She's a character <coughs> that exists and is related to the Weeping Angels. Yeah, that's... Oh, it's... that Weeping Angel scene was so bad. <laughs> it was, yeah. <laughs> that's fucking terrible. It's the fact that she kept on saying, don't blink to herself, like... Yeah, like, why say anything? In that situation, just fucking get out of there. At that point, it just feels more like a, like, hey, yeah, remember the don't blink from blink. Yeah, if it was like a, like a, hey guys, we need to establish that people know how the, the you know, the Weeping Angels work. 
Well, one of the most popular Doctor Who villains of all time. Yeah, if you want to we'll establish see. it, you don't introduce them in this episode. And it's such a short, quick scene. If you actually want it to work properly. If you, if you have to re-establish like three different villains in one episode, you're doing it wrong. And Paul also, poorly. Yeah. Also, doing you don't. So much. You don't keep telling yourself, "Don't blink, otherwise you end up blinking." Yeah. Psychologically. Just focus Which on using did, using yeah. like any movement as little as possible. So yeah, you, you wouldn't say anything any that yeah. Face just, movements cause you to try to try to blink. Just put less focus into your mouth, more into your eyes. So they don't fucking May- shoot. Then maybe then she wouldn't have blinked like th- three times during that fucking scene. <laughs> fucking moron, I swear to God. All right, well, is there anything else you want to say about this episode? Because I just feel ki- kind of defeated. I'm just like, yeah, that was shit. I feel so... I, I, I am, my, I've got a headache because of how <laughs> all over the place that was. Like, it, no scene really, really felt like it connected to the other. We just kept going to random places and then going back to other places, and it never felt like it was a very coherent story in any way. And that's that might be all these episodes. That really worries me. Yeah, that'll be fun. Well, my only other thing to point out, and I don't know if you'll get explained, why is the secret Time Lord Agency recruiting monsters like uh, species like the Lapari? Oh, because it can't I'm be sure that. It can't be unless the Time Lords went to the power ago, saved the humans for some reason. I don't see how entire race knows this. I don't see how the Doctor didn't know about the flux existing, and then I like, do. Like, Yo, like, I can feel the universe breaking. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> only now I know. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. The plot needs it too. Yeah, I don't know like, how well, the Doctor. Well, on the back of my mind, when uh, she said, "Why don't I know this?" I'm like, "Oh, that is interesting. I want to know why she doesn't know it because from what I uh, would have gathered, she would have felt it. You know." Oh, age was breaking, yeah. But then, like, oh, there must be a reason building up to a mystery, and then the end, of the, the end of the episode is like, oh, I can feel the universe breaking. So it's like, oh, so there I've is. I've always no wanted to know what that felt like. Ugh. <laughs> she shouldn't have what a said. Great banger. She should. She shouldn't have said literally anything. Uh, at she should have said, "Oh God," or something. Yeah. Like, well, like the thing is, when she breaks open the, the TARDIS, she, you know, she uses a, a vortex, whatever. Like. She shouldn't have said, oh, let's see how uh, how the flux goes up against the vortex. It's like, no, you, sh- you shouldn't say anything. I just say, like, oh, God, I hope this works. Like, the dialogue is se- it's downplaying the stakes where it's like she's just about to die and she's pretty much the last defense against the universe destroying threat. It's like, maybe you should take this more seriously. I don't know. Such a casual attitude, Tav. But oh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe yeah. the universe is literally being destroyed right now. Yeah. So uh, I always wanted to know what that felt like. So like, no, that's you just... why. Why did you think <laughs> that? Why have you why always thought you... about that? Yeah. That's that's strange. I guess it's like I couldn't understand it from a character standpoint that the Doctor would want to know what it feels like when the universe ends. But like. In the sense of like, in that, she can't... In that situation, not not in that situation, that. but what I mean is just like in a general sense, she would want to know, uh, like for example, she travels to the end of the universe, the end of time, but she can never like go past it because you know otherwise she dies. It's the kind of thing where like it's always something that she, it's, um, it's uh been intriguing to her because she doesn't really know her them whatever every incarnation pretty much. It's like, you, I can't really know, because otherwise, you know, I'm just going to see to exist with the universe. And it's like that one thing that she uh, she can never get the answer to. But it's like, this isn't that. So I don't know, it just doesn't fit. It really doesn't fit. And it down, downplays the stakes and makes the Doctor seem like a very not compassionate character. I just... Uh, I noticed so many new issues as I was rewatching. I was like, oh, I did all those notes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well... That was it. Uh, thanks yeah, everyone thing. who watched this reaction. We are you guys ready for it. five more of these? Uh, <laughs> hey, then we ha- we're gonna have the three specials. It's gonna be great. Um, oh, this is gonna be fun. Yay! But yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, these Doctor Who reactions will come out hopefully fast. Uh, uh, pretty fast. I don't know exactly when I'm gonna release them because I still need time to edit them. And uh, we will also have reactions to The Flash Season 8 um, coming out soon because the season starts in like two weeks. So that's going to be interesting. 
Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> it never ends. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. And I'm gonna need to rewatch this fucking episode when I edit, so, you know. This is that. my third time watching, so there you go. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks everyone for watching. We'll, we'll see you yeah. soon with a, a stream or another reaction. I don't know. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>